Good morning, everybody. Can everybody hear me clearly? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Um, as I said, this is that the session was scheduled um, with one particular purpose in mind. I don't want to break your speed because I know that all of you have your own um, routines that you have slotted in since Monday in preparation for your exams starting on the 28th. Uh, um, this session can take as long as necessary. It could be five minutes, it could be an hour. Um, so um, let me just explain the purpose of the session today and I will obviously, um, the session is being recorded and I will upload uh, the recording um, after the class um, just to make sure that everybody gets uh, a fair opportunity because I still, um, I'm, if you think you're anxious about uh, the um, the exam on Monday. I'm anxious for a different reason. I'm anxious because I'm still getting students um, emailing me, um, so what about this? And I think, you know what, what um, you obviously have not been on Canvas, you haven't listened to recordings, you haven't attended the sessions, um, and I'm worried because then some of the information was also posted in an announcement. Um, and I think that's that's my concern that not everybody gets all the information. Can I get an idea from from you um, as, as students? Because I know that you receive um, you, re you receive announcements from us as, as um, lecturers, but you also um, receive com um, communication from Studio. Studio will inform you of your exam timetables. Um, as well as your instructions, exam instructions and stuff like that. Um, can I get an idea? Anybody know that they should not only log in on Monday at 11 o'clock, but they should already be um, should already be the half an hour early at 10:30. I didn't know that. You did not know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Um, ask. Okay, that's okay, Mr. Okay, um, that's that's so much more reason for us to have a session like today. I'm I'm not going to. Um, there's no um, exam secrets that's going to be shared today, unfortunately. I know for those who have expected that um, to happen today, unfortunately, it's not going to happen today. Not because I'm that type of person, but just because I think that you have a a lot of information. So I'm just going over a few very important logistical issues. Okay, I'm going to start with the next slide and um, your exam instructions as you will find it on your um, paper you um, will um, I'm going to add this um, um, onto the slide when I upload it this afternoon as well it's going to be three four pages maximum um, to go with um, this recording the exam is on the 28th I still had emails yesterday from students I uh, said that exam on the 29th no it's not on the 29th it's coming Monday the 28th. Right, the exam window to complete is from 11 to 3. The, um, because we're invigilating on Teams, the students have to obviously log in at 10.30 already. Right, you still have three hours and the paper will only still available, be available for three hours from 11 o'clock. Um, about the chapters, I think you know that by now already. Uh, you know 100 mark paper. I'm confident that you will not need all three hours. And the types of questions um, are all the ones that I've listed on the screen. There's a case study in, there are multiple choice questions, there are true or false questions, there are short answer questions. Okay, no surprises. 50 mark question with a proper introduction, um, a body to the essay, as well as a conclusion. Um, no essays. That I can confirm and I uh, want you to relax because I know that very often at, um, um, in school when there were um, subjects like business um, and history and geography, there are essay questions like that. It's not going to be the case um, with, um, with business marketing. Okay, now already um, on your calendar, you can check, I checked it this morning, I'm going to make one of two final tweaks um, with our technical people because we're doing a, a lot of um, 
technical cleanup um, of Canvas pages this week, um, just to ensure that everything is hundred percent fine. And we check and we double check and we triple check and we get up in the middle of the night. And um, so it's as I said, yeah, we all going through um, 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 a bit of anxiousness ourselves because we want the process to run smoothly. Um, and um, I'm convinced. Um, I've had two sessions already with with uh, second year students this week. Um, the process is working well, um, and the more you repeat the process, the easier it gets. So basically, um, if you go onto your calendar on Canvas at the moment, you'll see that there is a a link. Um, I'm going to create another link. Um, the one that you currently see on your um, calendar is for Bellwell students. That's the link to the to the session. Um, and also, um, I will now add one for Centurion. Because of the size of the group, um, I will be invigilating the uh, Bellwell group, and Lebo will be doing the same with the Centurion students. This is just for, for, for excuse me. Um, could you maybe just repeat what the link was for? Because um, on my side, you broke up as soon as you said what it was for. Sure. Um, the uh, the difference between your formal exam, uh, formal test that you wrote, and your um, exam that you're writing now, is that Sadia has this, uh, decided um, that they want to obviously um, view the students' environment in which they write the exam, just from security point of view, to ensure that um, that you don't get assistance from somebody else or using additional resources um, to conduct the exam. Um, so the link that I've posted onto the calendar was um, to invite you to join at 10.30 on Monday during that first half hour. Uh, the logistical process that will follow is that we will discuss the exam instructions with you. Individually, we are going to, from a class list, check your while your video camera is on. Your video camera must be on so you can actually show me your student card. Secondly, we uh, have to screen the environment. So you'll have to show us where you sit and that you do not have five monitors on in the background and textbooks and other kinds of devices that can give you access to information that will help you in the exam. Um, and you keep that um, video on throughout um, the throughout the exam. You will, from 11 o'clock um, onwards, um, obviously you will be glued to your screen because you will be conducting the quiz online. Okay, so that's the reason for the link and that's the link that you find on the calendar. Right, any questions regarding that? Yes, sir. so I've noticed a couple of people saying that they don't have a student card and that's including myself. So I'm not too sure, yeah. Right. Um, two suggestions for me is to contact your campus that you are registered with immediately, because this information has been shared um, has been shared with students from the study of, um, um, academic office more than a week ago. Um, the other reason why I say this is to ensure that um, I'll get your um, question just now, Didre. Um, the the other reason is because there are students who do not have devices with um, with cameras in. Um, those students can arrange with their campus, the closest campus, then Centurion or Bell, to do it on campus in the classroom. Um, and we've been doing it the whole week. Um, so from a logistical point of view, um, a camera or a device with um, with a with a video option that we can see where you are and what you are doing. Uh, is essential. If you do not have a student card, I would say I suggest contact your, your campus because um, um, students I know were queuing up um, just before, um, yeah, during last week and previous week already on our campus here in Belleville uh, to collect their student cards. Um, alternatively, um, if you cannot get to a campus, um, contact that campus so they can inform us or whoever's invigilating that the student does not have a student card and they have been uh, permitted to use a different form of ID um, um, identification like, for instance, an ID. On our class list, we will have all your cell numbers as well. So individually, when we do that check, 
I will just confirm your cell number as well, just in case um, something happens and we need to contact you. If during the session you start your exam, you want to go to the bathroom, for instance, um, you can just in the chat, just ask, sir, can I quickly go to the bathroom? And I will say yes or no, whatever, and then you go. People, I want to, um, and I haven't forgotten about you, Deirdre, I want to just um, um, simulate a situation for you. When you did your matric exams last year, regardless if we were in COVID um, lockdown or restrictions, um, you still went through a specific routine when you wrote your exam. Now, nothing is different from that. Um, or if um, we were not in a COVID restricted, uh, restricted um, um, period, if you had to sit the exam that you're writing on Monday on the Centurion campus or on the Belvoir campus, you would have gone through a similar process. You would arrive there half an hour early. You would take, um, um, you would take your seat. You'll take out your um, pens and pencils and whatever necessary. You will put your student card on the desk um, and you'll put your bag at the front of the classroom. The individual later would walk through the room and check everybody's IDs um, and then give them the exam papers with the exam pads and then you start your exam. The only difference from that process to now is that you are sitting in the comfort of an area that you are familiar with at home or maybe on a campus in front of a computer screen and the same process basically follows. Um, and if you had to on campus leave because um, needed a bathroom a relief, then one of the invigilators, male or female, that's where there are usually two invigilators in the classroom, um, will accompany you to the bathroom and wait till you're finished and then you continue with the exam. Exactly the same, apart from there's no invigilator, <laughs> there's no invigilator in, your, um, in your environment where you're writing. Um, so just to give you some logistical background, so don't don't stress about it. The process is exactly the same. It's just done electronically now. Um, Deirdre, I'll allow some questions, but Deirdre, a um, question that you have? Um, meneer, I want to know, so I sit now in a mobile set, and now I can't my student card, can so I can afford it. I can't even get an email, so I can't even get an email. En dan um, ook omdat ik nu een nummer wil, zit mijn telefoonnummer nou voor Anna, moet ik hem maar net ook vullen, zeg ik het nou eerst een ander nummer omdat ik hier is. Um, ik zal voorstellen, je doet het, yes, please, do that, uh, Deirdre. Inform the Belvoir campus that you um, are in Namibia, that you are not on campus, you are not in a position to collect your um, student card. Um, can you maybe use your student card from last year? Can you, or should you use your um, ID? What, the, what do they recommend? And then also inform them of your new, um, of your new contact details. I know that that class list is updated um, the, the day before the exam. I spoke to um, Tutu, who's our um, administrator this morning, um, and he's um, confirmed to me that the class list with the updated information goes out on the Excel spreadsheet to all the lecturers who's invigilating on Monday um, tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so um, if the detail is different, when I have the class list next to me and I say, Deirdre, is your cell number 0835678892? And you say, no, it's 076. Now, I will just make that notification on the class list that I have. I will tick it and I will say, this is the new number. So also, again, um, don't be too stressed about it, but the correct procedure would be to inform your campus. Um, and then we know there is a, for any confusion in future, um, at least there's a paper trail. And, and I would strongly recommend that you do that. And not just you, any student to find himself in a similar situation. Any other questions, anybody, at this point, of, on, on what I've said so far? I want you to be, I want you to understand the process uh, and I want you to be comfortable with the process. Um, yes, Rebecca. Morning, sir. Um, so Morning. regarding the, the, um, the student cards, I went to them, yes. I think, last week and they gave me an email um, to be able to get my student card. But I don't, yes. I'm not really sure what I should write in the email or what I should ask them or where I should send my photo. 
Um, what was their response when you asked them for um, you, you said you emailed them um, and, and requested your student card? No, or, I, haven't, um, I haven't emailed them because I don't know what to write in the email. <laughs> Okay, no problem. Rebecca, I would say um, um, you can just say that um, in preparation for your exam, you've gone through um, you've gone through your checklist and um, it was confirmed by your lecturer today that um, you um, have to produce your student card as an identification during the invigilation preparation session on Monday. Um, and for that reason, you, um, you are contacting them to um just to confirm what the procedure is to obtain a student card should you come into campus uh, today or tomorrow uh, or if you are in a remote area which is, um is, is not possible for you to get to the campus um like in Deidre's case uh, she was never on campus this year because she's in Namibia um what happens in a case like that um where are you close to um to, to your campus um, it's quite a bit of a drive, but I I can go in to go fetch my student card. Okay. Um, I would suggest that yeah, you just ask them and said, listen, I, I need my student card for Monday. My exam starts, and I need it um, as identification. Um, um, what? Where can I get it? Um, what's the What's the next step, kind of thing? That's, that's, that's as simple as that. Just make it short and sweet, yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem at all. Any other? Other questions, people, about the logistics? As I said, your instructions. Um, what I've done as well is um, you um, will see that um, when you start your exam at 11 o'clock, um, there are similar instructions to what I've just said um, is um, at the top of your exam paper. And then there's a first question, um, which is uh, doesn't count any marks, but you have to just tick it with yes. Okay, um, option will be provided to you. So we set it in a multiple choice um, option. That's the declaration that you read through, that you, the work that you do is your own work, and, 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 and. so that information is in, in there too. And then also, um, and that will be discussed with you, and then you can obviously start your paper. Um, when you finish your online exam, and sometimes students finish in two hours, some finish off in half an hour, some take the full three hours, you also have to just um, um, instruct in the chat, instru um, just inform us. Um, student number, um, finished with the exam, um, there's a specific wording. I will type that when we, I will type that during the, um, I'm going to be with you just now, um, Mika. Um, I'm going to type that during our invigilation preparation, um, that half an hour before the exam. I'll type it in the chat. Um, the format, I will include it in this um, um, slide that I will um, upload this afternoon too, as to what you have to type. You don't want to say, um, you, can, you don't just leave, you just, um, there's, a, there's a specific procedure. That was in the instructions that was um, that was given to the students um, or sent um, to the students by Stadio. Um, I will also, the 086 number in case of technical difficulty. I had a student on Tuesday when I was vigilating, um, the internet dropped every 10 minutes. Um, and um, she was just in the chat. So what can I do? Because remember, um, I'm, I'm watching all the students, um, 30, 40 plus students, um, um, and the videos <laughs> in front of me. So um, use the chat for that. And I suggested to uh, um, contact this number quickly eventually uh, um, and, and just log it so they know. She was fortunately um, back on um, online and um, there wasn't any time constraints or issues. If you have, and just double check, I know of one student. I can't see the student in the session at the moment. Uh, we, um, because of a learning challenge, um, um, and we know that, um, and our administrators know that, um, obviously then they will set your paper, because it's individually done, um, to have extra 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever the arrangement is. Okay, so um, just make sure that if you are one of those students, that um, that it is done. Um, if you're unsure, just again contact your um, your campus and say, um, I just want to check and see that um, I am going to get the extra half an hour that I'm entitled to, and 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 from a logistical point of view. Um, Mika, yes, you have a question. 
I say, yeah, I have, um, so I've got one question regarding what we just spoke about and then. Sorry, so yep, so no for the first one, you mentioned, sorry, yeah, you mentioned that we have a time slot from 11 till 3. So yeah. what happens to the students who want to start, let's say, at 12, from 12 to 3? Um, there's not an option. You start at 11. Okay, so then so. You know. Oh, well, you're welcome to you're welcome to start um, later, um, but you still have to be there for the preparation session at ten thirty. Okay, okay, thank you. So that's that's okay. just something else. And then, sure. um, yeah, you you'll still the, the exam paper will still be open until three o'clock. The, the window is still four hours, and the duration um, that the the setting for the paper is still three hours. So regardless, um, when, when you start, yeah, it will still run for three hours. But uh, uh, it's, it's, it's impractical to repeat the preparation and, um, and, um, um, and checking everybody's details um, throughout, the, throughout the day or at least for the first hour, because if you start after, after 12 o'clock, then you're also not going to have three hours to complete. So. Um, that's why the, the the logistical arrangement was made that it's it's done half an hour before. Okay, thank you. So yeah, I can I just know that that was a bit of a confusion for some um, with the eleven o'clock or twelve o'clock because of the four sure. hour duration. Um, well, what I will what I will do um, in in reply to your um, to everybody's questions that I've received today. Hopefully, uh, the majority of them I've been able to. Um, to answer to your satisfaction, um, I will, um, as I said, obviously the recording will be available to you this afternoon. I'll also do the exam instructions. I'll include it in the slides uh, and upload it with um, with the recording. But I'm also going to post an announcement. I know that students sometimes don't read the announcements, but uh, there's there's only so many ways and so many times that we can communicate with the students, and this is um, the the one that reaches most of the students. So it's still the student's responsibility to go onto Canvas and read the announcements. Otherwise, how do we communicate with you, um, especially during time where there's no um, scheduled um, live sessions like you normally have during the semester? So I'll post an announcement and I will confirm the procedure that we have discussed now. And if there's any additional issues um, um, flowing from the questions that you've asked me, um, I will just Confirm that again and, um, and give you the proper instructions. So please um, use that as a as a as another checkpoint, and that will be out this afternoon. So you can check it. You don't have to wait, and um, it's not going to be last minute. It's going to be this afternoon. Um, and then yeah. the second question. And then so regarding the um, the chapters. So I just want to double confirm the chapters that we see in this exam format. Um, is the correct ones right? Because I see on certain slide um, weeks inside the uh, canvas yes. that it says we mustn't study nine and we must study fourteen, and then another week will say we must study nine and not fourteen. So I just want to make double sure it is nine that we need to know, not fourteen. Because that's correct. Chapter that's nine. Correct. The one that you see on the screen at the moment is the correct one. No fourteen, but definitely nine. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. And then um, I've. Just want to check for the class what school chapter nine is missing um, on Canvas. Okay. And yeah, so, and then lastly, so um, what's it called? For the exam itself, when you go into Canvas and you go by where you go look for your marks, it's already showing a mark out of 100 for the exam, but we've not yes. written it yet. Um. <laughs> Um, we're all aware of it. Yes, as I said, we we are busy with technical cleanup. Um, just to, um, but that that shouldn't concern you at all. No, don't worry. That so we are aware of that. Um, it, it's happened with with a number of, um, of of settings on on various courses and and faculty. So it's it's a, it's obviously a, a, a common error that um that all of us made when we when we uploaded it. Um, or that the system made, but we are aware of it and we will be addressed. So don't don't worry. You have not written the exam and there's <laughs> you're not getting any free marks. <laughs> That's not the final mark either, uh, because obviously you <laughs> you've not done the exam yet. Yes. Um, Rebecca has a few other questions and uh, and who else? 
Hi, sir. I'm, I'm trying to send that email, but she gave me an email academic admin dot circle com at studio dot ac dot za, but it's not working. It's not working. Um, hmm, that's interesting. That's the one we have. That's that's the OK. Does the circum need to be in um, what do you call it? With letters in, in, in capitals. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, um, the one I got is definitely in capitals, um, and Stadia is also in capitals. And remember, there's between um, the academic admin, it's a dot SOCOM, is a. Okay, so SOCOM and Stadia needs to be in work yes. letters. Yes. Okay, I'll try that. Thank academic, you. Academic admin, I know academic is a, it's a capital A, academic, but the, all, the rest is all um, underscore. Um, um, uh, dot socom and that's all in capitals. That's studio in capitals. Dot ac dot z i yes. Okay, I'll quickly try it. Thank you. Okay. No problem at all. Anybody else? There was somebody else with a question, maybe. Okay. Um, as I said, I'm. I'm Confident that the work that you um, it is a lot of work, yes. And Mika, I know that you've um, you've expressed that on more than one occasion. Um, and yes, it is a lot of work. Um, I've I've had students asking me is the um, is the slide summary that we did chapter one two separately and chapter three to fifteen um, is is that. Better to use that um, in preparation for your exam. Um, I can't say it is because um, all I can say is that it again just summarizes the important components that is necessary for you to be able to achieve the learning outcomes of this module. Um, it's it's I'm almost worried, and I know that. Um, my days when I was a student, um, if there was a hundred pages in the in the textbook, uh, if I only have to study five to pass, then I will only study those five. Um, I've since then, uh, I think, realized that um, if there's a hundred pages, I should actually study two hundred pages to actually to pass. But um, the the um, my recommendation would be to. Um, to use that as a guide um, as to what is um, extremely important in each chapter. I will still go through my slides, um, the original ones that was um, that was used during our, um, our live sessions to conduct a class. Um, if you want to summarize from that um, by using the um, exam preparation set of slides uh, you can um, but yeah those ones in the in the exam preparation slide is obviously the 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 most important um, aspects in in each chapter um, I have not necessarily always copied all the information on a particular concept but um, that would be an original slide but um, if you want to reduce the work because your workload is is, is 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 very high, um, then um, you, know, you can use that as a guide. But um, I would not I would not limit myself just to that. Um, if that's uh, sort of in a roundabout way answers your um, or addresses that question as to what exactly must I must I study? Yes, dear Mr. Um, Meneer, as is now not the exam preparation slides, as is now the same as as a papagaal leer and you ander net weer lees. So so now, so um, say my so, and I see no be preparation slides as chapter one and two be as it only. But as us now net so can in chapter one and two be in the other world dear lies that not on the preparation slides is not all as right be as. Of must um, now my work so clear clear. I would um usually what I do when I uh, prepare for the exams I I do the following um and everybody's um methods are different um. My textbook is, I have the textbook um, and before, um, when we are busy with chapter one, for instance, 
I would read through chapter one in my textbook and I will only do that once. Um, I will then convert to my um, to my slides that the lecturer has provided me and I will make my own notes um, based on that and what I've read in the chapter. That's how every single chapter um, I will prepare uh, or I have prepared um, um, and in when I was a student. Um, that's the method I think that is, um, there's no foolproof method because you still have to remember what, what you've studied. Um, but um, if you study the content of the slides, the ones that we originally used for each lecture, chapter one, chapter two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, the whole lot, you should be fine. Um, anything that you um, um, anything that's um, different from that would probably be um, an applications or a case study application where the concepts you will still get from the slides, um, but the application obviously because it's a it's a new case study um, that's not in your textbook or that's not in your slides um, that would um, that would be where there's differences. Yes, but. Um, you should be okay if you if you study just that uh, just those slides. By the way, the chapter one and chapter two revision was done as separately as as a chapter. We went through chapter one and chapter two um, um, from the original slides. There wasn't there, there wasn't an additional um, summarized version of chapter one and two. Any other questions, anybody? How's things going? What, how's the mindset at the moment? Apart from being anxious, apart from being feeling overwhelmed, um, how's how's the week been treating you? My mom is more stressed than I am. <laughs> oh, parents are always. Don't worry. I'm 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 like that. I I, I watched a recording, um, a previous recording with Graham Norton, the Graham Norton show, um, a BBC show. Um, where I think um, Taylor Swift was one of the guests, um, and she has a mother that um, she calls her mother, um, um, I think her mother's name's Angela. She calls her um, um, worst case scenario Angela because she always thinks the worst thing is going to happen to Taylor. Now, parents are like that. Parents worry more about. Um, and I worry because my son's writing um, exams at the moment as well. Both of them are writing exams, and I'm more anxious for for them than I am um, uh, for the work that I have to do. And and, and I think it's natural. It's um, it's 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 fine. At, at least uh, I think you are fortunate to to have a caring mother, um, and that helps with the support structure. Um, and that's also very important. In that's extremely important, in my opinion, throughout any exam period. Um, and you know what? If I can give you some advice um, from from years of experience, and especially my last couple of years with um, with Prestige and Stadia, everything seems um, end of the world, worst scenario ever, and then next day everything's fine again. We we always think that while once while we in something that it's the worst that could ever happen, um, and up to that point that you complete it um, and you repeat it, you'll see that your exams at the end of the year, although it's going to be different modules, you're going to be more relaxed than you are now. It's it's your first exam, um, but um, an exam is still an exam. It's nothing different to anything that you've done at school. It's natural to be anxious. It's natural to be nervous. Um, and therefore, the best advice I can give you is, is, is um, um, what Mr. Donald Trump has shown you there as well, you have to study. If you study, if you put in your hours, um, the chances that you, you there's no guarantee that you'll get great marks, but there's, uh, you, you immediately have improved your chances of performing better. Um, if you're going to, um, I did not, when I did my first comrades, I did not only run 90 kilometers because that's the distance of the Comrades Marathon. I trained five, six times and did five, six times more kilometers in preparation for the 90Ks. So if you 
um, prepare better than uh, what's expected. In other words, I think I suggested earlier on, if it's a three-hour paper you're writing on Monday and your entire preparation for Monday's paper is only three hours of preparation, then you are probably not going to do well. If you exceed the three hours and maybe you do three hours for three or four days, then obviously you are better prepared for a three-hour paper. Um, always do more in preparation and then later on. My son came back to um, from school yesterday, he wrote a paper and he says, Dad, remember I, I went through all these 152 pages that we did and, um, and they, they asked us only five marks from that section. Now, unfortunately, this um, um, like in, in this case, I, I've not set the paper myself. It was done by um, and nobody looked at it. It was moderated. It was fine, and um, you forget about it. So it's 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 one of those things that you that um, uh, I have to go through the paper to 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 familiarise myself again with, with the questions that was asked because um, it was it was such, said such a long time ago. And and lecturers don't. Um, it's actually good that that's the case because we don't want to lecture you to um, to pass an exam. We're lecturing you so you can understand the concepts that will be assessed in the exam. Um, but if you put in the hours, you should be fine. Um, the paper is of such a nature that it's, in my opinion, not a tough paper, but if you have not read through your slides at least once, um, obviously you uh, you limit your chances of, of doing well. But I, I would not be anxious about uh, about the paper itself. Um, but I I'm, I'm 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 generalizing. I can't speak on um, um, on behalf of every individual because I'm not sure what your situation is and your circumstances are. But um, if you put in the hours, you should be fine. Any questions, anybody? Yes, sir. Um, I yeah. want to know when yes. are we receive our assignments and test marks? Um, Very few. I've been terrible at reading the announcements. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, any any minute now. As I said, it could be an hour from now. It could be a, a day from now. Um, it's. 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 Um, I know that there's been completed the marking, um, but I also know that um, the moderators um, are busy. I'm busy moderating myself at the moment. Um, another module, third year group. Um, so I know that everybody is busy with that at the moment. Um, and you have to moderate ten per paper or ten per group. So because you are a BCDM group and a BCM group combined, uh, we need to moderate 10 of each. That's 20 out of the total of about 60 students that needs to be moderated. So it takes time, but um, Mika, I, I can't tell you exactly it's going to be now, it's going to be in an hour, um, but um, the best answer I can give you is any minute now or any day now, because um, I know the process is being, is being followed at the moment. I'm, I'm involved in the process. As, as, a, as a moderator, all my stuff's been marked and passed on to the moderators. Thank you, sir. Sure, I'm pretty sure that's not the answer that you wanted to know. Um, but uh, as I said, yeah, it's it's the, the process needs to be completed, and and I said we're all busy with it at the moment. Um, no, it's okay. Just. just <laughs> <laughs> Just some clarity on that. I'm glad you brought that up because I had a student yesterday who was not sure about the mark, uh, the the weighting of each of the um, assessments. Um, your total um, to pass the module, to pass the module, you have to get um, you have to complete the formative assessments as well as the summative assessment. Uh, your formative, and I'll put that in in the email as um in in the slideshow as well. Your um, assignment that you did, the class test that you wrote, and your um, formal test that you wrote, that counts forty percent towards your total module mark. In other words, all class tests that you wrote, four out of the forty marks goes to the class test. Um, 30%, in other words, 12 out of the 40 marks 
goes towards your assignment. 24 out of the 40 marks goes towards the um, 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 formative test that you wrote. So if you break up the 40 of your formative assessments, that's four for your class test, that's 12 for your um, assignment, and it's 24 for your formal test. That's how we make up that 40%. And the exam that you're writing um, on Monday um, carries a weighting of 60%. Towards the final, um, to your, towards your final mark. Um, I'm not sure if everybody is is familiar with that, um, but that's basically how the calculation for your final mark is done. Um, you have to, you have to get at least, um, you have to get 50% to pass the module. Okay. You have to get at least 40% for your exam on Monday to, um, to pass the module. So in other words, if your combined 40% um, 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 percent for your formatives, your assignments, your class tests, and your formal test, if that is a good mark, let's say it's 32 out of the 40, um, you still need to get 40% for, um, for your test on Monday. Uh, if you don't get 40%, there will be some uh, um, a supplementary exam and a supplementary so at the end of the year. It's not now at the end of this term, for instance. Okay, so I'll put that, um, I'll, I'll, I gave that breakdown in the email to a student yesterday. I'll just add it to, um, to, this, um, to the slide um, before I upload it this afternoon, just to give you clarity on, on exactly how it is done so you, you understand. It's also in your, um, in your um, assessment guide. That's in the over, over, overview week of um, this module on the on, on Canvas. Deirdre has another question. Yes. Um, meneer, so we gaan not now. Say no more. We write now. And you mm. make it in the day. We're not now. We're going to write a supplement. We're going to write at the end of the year. Yeah, so that's what we did also last year. When we went into, uh, into lockdown, um, all students there's a supplementary exam period at the end of the year, um, and not now, no. You guys need a break. Meneer. Yes. Say the masses, I can only say, we have a Dinsdag, and I said, OK, I'm going to write, but I haven't written, because I have actually COVID, or COVID, at the moment. Um, say no more, I can only, I can only write to describe it in my case, the doctors, but if I can't then work on the end of the year, the um, Anna examen of the Anna to describe it script then. Yes, that's that's my understanding. Um, for those for those um, students who uh, are not familiar with uh, the Afrikaans language, basically, Deirdre's question was um, um, if she didn't write an exam now, for instance, because she has COVID at the moment, um, um, that would be um, during the supplementary at the end of the year. Yes, that you that you write that exam. Have you in, have you informed Edre? And um, the campus is aware of it. Um, yes, sir. I did talk to Miss um, Borden Norton. I sent her all my my test results and my um, doctor's letter and everything, so they okay. know about. Okay, and and she has not. I mean, she just said like a thank. Thanks for informing us. Nothing else. Um, yes, sir, she didn't say. Actually, the um, the doctor had me actually afgebooked on the second um, July too, and to I had first year to ask if it was wrong, and she said for it is wrong, but I had full right, so I will subscribe. I was not done, so I just wanted to know that I was so sick, was it? I was not, I could not, I was not so clear and good, so I said it was not made to be. And to take my money, I was not my doctor to give me a date, so I said it was not made to be made. I was not done, so I was not sick, but I was now right, so I will write on Monday. Okay. No, no. I've I've had I've had the experience last year as well during during lockdown. There were students, obviously, for various reasons. Uh, I think, un very unfortunately, one of our students' um, mother passed away um, just a couple of days before the exam started last year, and um, yeah, that obviously is, is a very traumatic experience. Um, and that student did not write the exams in June, but it was um, conducted at the end of the year. Um, so yeah, the, we are familiar with with these kind of things that can happen and it does happen um, and there is uh, a system in place to accommodate students, yes. But uh, 
good luck. Um, you, you sound much better, but um, as I said, yeah, that's um, I've got friends who've got COVID too. They always sound very good, but um, I know that uh, the energy levels are probably the aspect that m most of you are struggling with. Um, and it makes it difficult to concentrate on, on something specific. So um, good luck. You, you sound much better, but um, yeah, take care of yourself. Yeah, I guess my big angst omdat ik niet zo lang meer dus kan concentreren, anders meer ze met rok maar baar van ik moet. Dus ik is maar een beetje, een beetje angstig voor ik voor ik zo om. That's fine. I mean, it, it, nobody knows when it's going to happen, if it's going to happen to you. So, um, but yeah, um, obviously we want we want you to be in the best shape you can when you when you write an exam. So um, yeah, don't be don't be concerned about that. You have at least followed the correct procedure, informed everybody, so they are familiar with that. But uh, yeah, um, listen to all of us people, stay safe. Um, I think you're probably in self-isolation at the moment because that's usually what happened to me when I went into uh, an exam week when I was still a student. Um, I sort of isolated myself from um, yeah, almost all distractions possible um, just to focus. And that was the only time of the year that really I was, I was like that um, during exam periods. But yeah, um, whatever works for every individual, and whatever your circumstances allow is, I think, what you need to just duplicate again for for the next two weeks, and you should be fine with with all your exams. Anybody? Any questions? Any any further questions? Um, sorry, meneer, net gaan weer. Um, ik zie nou, um, meneer, we zijn zeer ons goed worden van modereren, maar is het including ons formal test work? Wat ons schrijf heeft? Ja, 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 ja. Ik ik weet ik het ik het ik het eerst die I maakte de test first en dan de assignments um, because um, it was important to me to get that this test out immediately. But um, yeah, as I said, it should be any day now that the results are available to you. So, Mika, have you got another question? Yes, please. So I just wanted to ask, because you mentioned that the supplementary exams then would be uh, like the second chance writing would be at the end of the year. Um, yes. So I just want to check in terms of, so our digital marketing lecturer mentioned to us that if you don't pass his semester this semester, you can't continue next semester. So how would that work if you only write the second exam at the end of the year? Um, I'm not familiar with that because I mean some some questions uh, some questions some modules obviously are prerequisites to start a following module. Maybe it, it was in, in line with that that you mentioned that. As a degree, we have to pass digital marketing. Maybe. Um, I think it's sort of your major, yes. Um, and I think there's, there's, it depends again. There's, there are students who are on board at the moment who are repeating subjects from last year. Um, and there are students who actually have um, articulated from a certificate to um, to the degree qualification this year, um, and um, it's it's different for everybody. You sometimes are you you're not allowed to continue with a particular subject because um, it's a prerequisite for the for the next level, so to speak. And I'm pretty sure that with digital marketing, it's um, it's because this is um, it's a digital marketing course, um, a degree in digital marketing is. Yes. It's probably because it's your major that um, that you make that um, that comment. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. And so, do you know what subject you're going to teach us next semester? I heard my subjects um, that I'm teaching um, yesterday. Yes, um, I'm teaching two subjects in the second semester. Um, the one is uh, the second. Yes, it's not applicable to you. Um, I think personal selling. But I'm not sure if personal selling is one of your modules. I was going to teach business management, but um, um, somebody else is teaching that next semester. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what your modules are, to be honest with you. So, but those are the ones that I'm teaching. So, if, if any of those ring a bell, then yeah, I'll be your lecturer. No, sir. None of them ring a bell. <laughs> so that's ah, sad. Okay. Sorry. You have to wait till next year because then I'll I'll see you for sales and operations. Okay, I thought you might do business communication with us, so that's why I was asking. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ms. Kukumur is our, our Canvas 
technical expert slash, I don't know. I mean, every, it's, it's, we were going to sit down and do something just before the start of the session, and then they can just call this, listen, there's a student that needs um, an invigilator, and there you go. So they use her for almost everything. And she's been around since, um, yeah, uh, as long as I can remember, definitely 15 years at least. Um, and I think she's doing that business communication next week. Or it could be Miss Cupido. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but she's also, she's brilliant. So you would enjoy both of them. Okay, cool. Thank you, sir. Rebecca, yes, question. Hi. Um, about the screen, like how you're sharing your screen, um, are we allowed to have a Word document open next to it? It's blank, it's a new Word document. Because I like taking the question and then putting it on the Word document and then highlighting what I think is most, most important and then writing on the Word document and then copying and pasting it on the um, actual like exam thing. Uh, Rebecca, I'm not 100% sure. I'll double check for you and, and I'll just confirm that. I'm making a note of that as we speak. Uh, I know that during one of my invigilation sessions, earlier this week where I was just assisting a, another lecturer, uh, the question was asked by one student who said that she can she write down on a notepad the question because she wants to just answer the question on the notepad and then um, type the complete answer um, 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 onto the paper um, and that was permitted. So I'm not sure about um, additional electronic devices, um, but I'll check and confirm for you. It would be on the same computer, so. Yes, no, no, 100% for sure. Um, I will just check. It shouldn't be a problem, but let me just make sure that um, that that, um, that everything is above board and that everybody's happy because um, I don't want to tell you, yes, you can, and then um, that comes back and, and, and bites you. Um, we just want to make sure. I'll just clarify that. But uh, as I said, I will... I will include that in my announcement this afternoon, just in case what is permitted and what's not permitted, okay, um, in, in, in cases like that. But thanks for it's a very valid question. Okay, thank you, sir. Sure, anytime. Right, anybody? You've taken a long enough break now from your studies. Uh, do you have any more questions? You, you like you have this week. I know I've, I've, I've emailed um, some of you. Um, you're still welcome to, to send me emails and stuff. But from my side, I will um, I'll upload this recording this afternoon. I will also uh, upload um, a short five-page slide just to um, confirm everything that we've spoken about. And I will post an announcement just to confirm any um, particular aspects that um, relates to the logistical process that we've discussed today um, and um, confirming again just the, the outcome and the answers to the questions that was asked so everybody's clear um, and yes from the benefit for the benefit of everybody else who did not join today um, for various reasons but it's it's entirely up to you it was the volunteer session I'm glad that you um, I'm almost convinced not it's usually the it, it happened on Monday as well the session I had with the with the other group on Monday um, the students who actually join a session like today's session are the ones who's going to benefit. Now, it, no secrets were shared, but a lot of clarity is, is, is provided during a final uh, preparation session like, like today. Um, and therefore, as I said, the, the, the 15 or so of you who have uh, joined the session today, you will definitely benefit from the session. Um, and you have an advantage on those who haven't. Um, but yeah, no. I've got nothing more to add. If if everybody's good, then I'm going to wish you the best for the exams. Rebecca, did you um, uh, were you successful with that email address? That um, the admin academics. Yeah, so I just made a, a spelling error. So it was no. Just <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem at all. Thank you. Lilani helped me with it. <laughs> Spell check. Oh, tell me about that. So I just finished mocking assignments yesterday, and that's probably one of the biggest issues. Um, yeah, but maybe it was just 11 o'clock at night and I was reading the same paragraph for the fifth time that um, my eyes were crossing and I, I saw a spelling mistake that wasn't there. So, um, Everybody, take one step back, take a deep breath and relax. You'll be okay. Good luck for Monday. We'll chat again from about 10.30, okay? Thank you so much, sir. It's a pleasure.
Um, thank you, sir. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Sorry, sir.